guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I've been sitting here playing with some neon paints and I just got thinking about it and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to kind of do a review of these. Uh, first of all, I am not an expert on paint. Um, I just, I want to give you my take on it. So what I did is I've got these Primos Premio. I think this is a Hobby Lobby brand. Now these say they're neons. These are fluorescents, but we're still going to play with them. So we've got the orange, we've got the pink, and we've got the green. Um, these are the golden just fluorescent paints, acrylic paints. And then I actually have a couple of the fluid acrylics up here, so I might use some of those. Or the high, what are they, high flow or fluid? High flow, sorry, the high flow acrylics. So I just want to play around. And I've got a couple pieces of paper here. I've got um, just a black piece of cardstock and just a white piece of cardstock. So I just want to see, what I want to see is what is the difference in these paints? And, hang on a second, this is something I've learned. If you take it and you snap it, just kind of push up a little bit, it actually breaks that seal of paint. I did not know that it worked that way, but it does, so watch. Maybe. <laughs> of course you're on camera, it doesn't, you know what it is? I think when I put this thing on, I didn't put it on right the actual, sorry, I'm going to cut myself, um, the actual lid. I don't think I turned it on right, so it's got issues. Okay, let me go get these jars open. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to get Hercules, a.k.a. my hubby, in here to get this one open. But So we have our golden fluorescent pink, and then I've got this neon pink. Look at the difference. And then I have this one, which is um, Liquitex. And this one is a fluorescent pink as well. So let's see. That neon, I can tell these aren't going to be the same. Let's try this. Let's see what this looks like on black. I love how it pops. It, it's funny. I look up at my camera and this looks orange on my camera and it's not. It's hot, bright pink. All right. So here it is on both the um, black and the white. Now the way I'm looking at this, I think um, to get as much of a pop as you get from the white, you'd have to put on two coats. But I'm good with that. I don't have a problem with that. So that's the golden. Now I want to see, I'm going to set this aside. This is the Liquitex. This is the paint marker. I want to see. All right, so you can see a huge difference here. If you're going to use these fluorescent paint markers, I don't recommend using them on black because it's not going to work. It's not going to show. Um, as far as the goldens, I think they both work great. And I'm pretty sure this, this is neon, but I'm going to use this. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to get both with this. I'm just going to use this brush. This is just a regular acrylic paint that it's not transparent. Um, this one is transparent, the Liquitex, and the Golden is not. So, you know, it, it's pretty interesting to me to, to find out how these all work. And I'm just going to use up the paint that's on the brush here. Might as well, right? Don't waste it. Let's just finish painting this straight. Because, you know, you can always use this for something down the road. You never know. All right, so that one's done. I want to see the same thing with the green. Ugh. Actually, let's do orange first. All right, here's the golden orange. Of course, I think this one's going to be awesome. Oh, this one's a little bit transparent on the black. And there's a hunk of something. Look at that. Let me bring it back down. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to widen it up. There you go. Um, it's pretty, kind of pretty transparent. Here, same. Uh, you would have to, by the looks of things, you would have to put a couple coats on to get that real bright neon orange or that real bright fluorescent orange. 
So I say two, you know, two uh, coats on the golden. Let's see what the liquid text looks like. Make sure this is all, all shook up. Now this one, this looks more just regular orange versus this. This looks a lot brighter, um, especially on the black. Oops, I got, see I've got black on there. Come on. Um, it's okay on the white. I think if I had to, use, you know, to use these, I will use them uh, probably on my journal pages, maybe over other acrylic paint. Um, but yeah, these will definitely use on white. So I don't have, yes, I do. Hold on. I've got the neon acrylic right here. So I'll bet you this is the same as the other. Oh, that looks more like a peach, doesn't it? does to me <laughs> all right so let's see what this one does same thing you get pretty good coverage um, this one I think you get a lot better coverage than you do on the with the pink and same here same you know really good coverage so I like the fact that and again I'm just filling these in um, I like the fact that the golden paint shows up pretty well on the black um, again you would have to have a couple coats it's fine on the the white as well um, and then the liquitex i would not use that this at least the orange on the black paint and, and you know to be honest with you either one of these i would not use um, on black paper now maybe if i was just gonna do um you know a couple dots here and there you know that might be different uh, but as far as to trying to do a a whole um, area, yeah, I wouldn't be doing that. Not with these on black paper. All right, so there's that one. I'm going to turn these around. And I'm going to use the green. Uh, let's start. Let me put this away. Actually, let me finish this up. Hold on. Hold on. I got too many things going at once here. All right, that's going in the water. Now this one, the green, and these have all been shaken, shaken up, shaken up. Um, before I started this, just so that they were all ready. All right, here we go with the green. This one is the fluorescent green from Golden. We we're doing these up top, warming. So this is our top. Now that I like on black. That's really cool. That pops. Um, let's see what it looks like on the white. White's not bad either. The white is not bad either. So I like um, the golden uh, neon or fluorescent green on both the black and the white. So let's see what the Liquitex does. All right, let me just... Now, this one might be able to be used like that. Yeah. Yeah, the green, um, I don't know if it's got more pigment in it or what, but the green looks really good on both black and white, both in Liquitex and Golden. So let's see what this neon acrylic is. And again, this one should be okay. There shouldn't be an issue. Again, I'm using the brush with the greens in it now. Um, if you're going to try to do a whole background, you're going to need a couple of coats or lots and lots of layers. If you're doing it on the black, on the white, it coats really well. So, yeah, um, basically, I did this for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to see what they would all look like on the different colored papers. And the other thing is, you know, I know some people think, well, you know, a neon color is a neon color. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does. It matters by brand because um, some of them just are not made the same way. Some of them you may like better. So always check out 
um, different brands of things if you have the ability to. And again, like I said, these are from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was a whole set of them. Gosh only knows. These I actually ended up ordering on Amazon because I couldn't find them at Michael's. There was a set of six of them. Um, and they were not they were $28, I think, for the set of six. And then the golden, to be honest with you, I bought these so long ago, I'm not really sure um, how much they were. I have no idea, but I'm sure you can find it online. So, you know, definitely whatever you have the means to, if even if you have to buy like the different craft paints, try different brands of the same color because you never know what kind of a pigment, what kind of a coverage, or even what kind of a color you're going to get. So there's my review for this month. Um, I learned a few things and I hope you guys did too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, and as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys next month. Bye-bye.